Hey, first of all, your name? Sherry Basir. Spell your last name, Sherry. Uh, spell your first and last name. S H E R R I B E S S I R E. Tell me a little bit about this morning, which, what the, how this whole thing came about, what you found. Okay, I went to my mom's house and my sister was behind me, about 45 minutes behind me, and she called and said, I just found two dogs in a garbage bag on the side of the road. What, uh, you came back and retrieved them? She took the dogs, I came back and got the garbage bag. Okay, tell me what, what happened. She came back and got them? Or? She got them immediately from the side of the road where they were at, put them in the car and left to my mom's. I came back and got the garbage bag and took pictures. Okay. And uh, what the dog folks came out here, or the uh, animal control came out and picked the dogs up in? They came, picked the dogs up, and then the investigators came and got the bag. What did you think when you, all this, I mean, see two dogs in the, in the road, how did she actually realize there were dogs in there? The bag was closed, and she just thought it was trash until one of the dogs walked out of the bag. And she was like, oh, my God, it's puppies. So. It was a pretty much sealed up bag then? Uh, yeah, it wasn't, I don't know if it was tight or not, but the puppy stuck its head out. Okay. All right, what the... Uh, what do you think about it? I mean, have you seen stuff like this before around here? Yeah. Dogs all the time up and down this road, East River Drive, just dumped. Dogs ran over. We have five rescues just from this neighborhood, and she has three just from this neighborhood. All right. Describe what you, where they were at and what you found. Uh, the dogs were right here in the ditch, and she found them in a garbage bag, and one stuck its head out and that's how she knew it wasn't trash, it was dogs. And uh, when I came back, the garbage bag was still laying here. They were double bagged. They were in two garbage bags. Two dogs in a double bag garbage bag. So it was double they were double packed? Yes. Double yep. Okay. okay, baby. And who's talking? And he's going to come take his picture. And, uh, Seven, what is it? Seven thirteen. You had some strong jib up here. Warmer when they come in. This is for their internal parasites. And we use the internasal vaccine on that. Influenza. And the big belly. Yeah, it's got, this, is, this is very typical of pups. Hi, hi. That are, hi, first of all, name? Tim Hollifield. Tell me a little bit what happened uh, with the situation this morning. The, uh, start over? Okay, tell me what you had today. Uh, this morning about uh, 741, a citizen was driving down Wood Lane uh, near the intersection of Kings Oak and saw what she later determined to be two small puppies in a white uh, plastic bag. Uh, she immediately retrieved the animals from the bag and they were notified uh, the Montgomery County Animal Control Authority and who came and picked the animals up. I was notified of the case and made contact with a reportee. Now we're trying to investigate to find who in the world would place two small puppies in a white plastic bag and dump them on the side of the road. So we're asking anybody with information about the puppies if they would contact the Montgomery County uh, Animal Control Authority or contact the Crime Stoppers and remain anonymous and give us information that will lead us to the person or persons responsible for these uh, puppies being abandoned. Now these puppies appear to be in, in reasonable health. They've been examined by a veterinarian. 
will try to seek out a foster to care for them during this time, but we'd like to find the person or persons responsible. We understand pet overpopulation, but there are shelters and places available to help people who are on hard times, but to not dump them on the side of the road and definitely don't place them in trash bags and leave them. What about something like this? Uh, what kind of charges are you looking at something like this? Uh, cruelty to a non-livestock animal is the prevalent charge for someone who uh, unreasonably abandons an animal on the side of the road or fails uh, to re provide reasonable care, food, water, or shelter for an animal. So someone who would take an animal and dump it on the side of the road and the animal survives, that person will likely face cruelty to a non-livestock animal, which is a misdemeanor in Montgomery County in the state of Texas. Uh, should the animal die of its injuries as a result of the unreasonableness it was cared for or abandoned, then those charges could very well be upgraded to a felony.